What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Consider subscribing down below if you like my content. Anyway, today is going to be a quite short video. All I'm going to do is I'm going to swap a S14 differential into my S13 convertible. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because my S14 has a 4.6 final drive and my S13 has a 4.9 final drive. I'm heading to the track this weekend and I've driven that track with a 4.9 already and I'm kind of running out of gear and when I shift to the next gear I just don't have enough power to continue through the drift. So I'm going to try out the 4.6 this time. Hopefully it'll give me enough wheel speed to get me through the track without having to upshift. So here's my S14 pumpkin, it's already pulled out of the car, all I gotta do is pull out the S13 pumpkin and I'm also going to compare the two together for you guys, I'm gonna show you the differences between S13 and S14 and how you can actually make it work for either one of the cars. So I got the S13 differential out, the whole pumpkin, here they are, and there's really only two major differences between the two, this being the S14 and this being the S13. The two differences are... Right here, S14 uses bushings to fill out these spots where the S13 it's like a solid mount. And then the S14 back cover only has two studs which again they go through bushings on a subframe versus the S13 which has four small studs that go directly into the subframe. My assumption is that after Nissan produced the S13 they decided to put bushings on the differential for the S14s probably for the comfort of the ride and less uh, rattling and vibration going through the drivetrain. So with these two major changes, it is actually pretty easy to interchange them from S13 to S14. Since this is the S13 diff and this is an S14 diff and I want to put this one in my S13, all I'm going to do is swap the back covers so I can mount it to the subframe and then here I'm already using solid diff mount bushings which are actually same thickness as the S13 so it's not going to change the position of the diff or the height and all the angle on the drive shaft is going to be the same. Now that I got the covers off I just wanted to visually compare it and they are identical. I'm running a weir spool in both of them. Identical components, same part number. This one has a 4.6 final drive, this one has a 4.9. You can tell there's more teeth on this one in comparison to this one. All right, so I got the S14 diff into the S13. Just wanted to show you guys. You can tell by those diff bushings I was telling you about right here. I switched the cover and that bolted right up. So that should be it for that. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to show you guys that S14 diffs do work on S13s and vice versa. I see a lot of people on local 240 forums looking for S13 open diffs or S14 open diffs to turn them into welded diffs for drifting. So now you guys know you can use either or as long as it's an open differential. I'm not sure about those VLSDs and whatnot. I don't know if they're any different. So. Let's just keep it to open diffs. S14, S13 does not make a difference as long as you got the original cover that comes with the car. Hope that helps you guys out. Make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below with any questions or comments. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.